Um, I graduated with undergraduate degree in mechanical engineering from Ohio State, then did a master's degree in mechanical engineering as well, and was pursuing my PhD in mechanical engineering, and then subsequently transferred into a PhD in industrial and systems engineering. Early stage technologies are come out from different research institutions, mainly Ohio State University research, and many times they're not attractive enough for a big company to come and adopt that technology. But they all have the potential to impact society. However, they will never do that unless somebody creates value with them, creates a product that can help people. Now, there's a big gap between this nature of technology and technologies that are ratified uh, at the stage where a company can adopt them. So that gray area is bridged by creating entrepreneurs. So without that bridge between early stage technology to a product, those technologies will be lost. And whatever potential impact to society they could provide would also be lost subsequently because nobody would take it there. Uh, I'm the team leader and I'm also an inventor of the technology. So I worked on that for my engineering uh, master's degree thesis as well as currently is my research topic and my PhD as well. Through our research we developed a technology that seemed it had some commercial impact or potential. We have a technology that is basically uh, a manufacturing process to create a thin film made out of nanoparticles. And the, the basic um, importance behind that technology is that it can be used for a wide range of applications. However, from, from our company's perspective, we have focused in on one particular application, which is uh, wind turbine blades. And our technology can provide de-icing capabilities to wind turbine blades, as well as increase the longevity of the blade by increasing its erosion resistance. Uh, icing on wind blades can present a significant problem, up to 30% loss of annual output in particular locations where cold weather is an issue. So by us providing that solution, adopting our technology into the process, of manufacturing the wind blades would actually benefit uh, not only the, the manufacturers of wind blades to sell more products, but also make the technology more viable and the wind energy more viable for society and ultimately reduce the consumption of uh, fossil fuels.